presents to This is Bleach Bang's music, and we are here with Sons of Texas lead guitar player Jess. So I guess I'll start off with what everybody really wants to know. Do you guys have anything new in the works at this time? 2017 is when we released the last one, but we've got a new one already in the works. So maybe at the end of this year or early next year is when we'll actually begin to track it. We've, we've already got demos worked up. We've got pre-pro coming up with hopefully Josh Wilbur again. Um, and uh, so the third album will be, man, once we get in the studio, we'll have more of a timeline as to when right. it'll be released. Right. But we're looking to get into the studio maybe, you know, end of this year, early next year. There's a lot of things going on. Are you guys able to ride on the road at all? Do you yes. Take, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not as comfortable as it is riding at home. But uh, a lot of the times, like I got like maybe three iPhones already full of riffs that I hum into, or nice. you know, and I just send yeah. it to these cats, and then John will send me the same thing. Same thing with Mark, everybody. And that's how you share ideas, and then from there, one of them will spark some sort of you know maybe inspiration or something, and it'll materialize into something further. Right. On. So um, nine times out of ten, that's how it happens. Even at home, man, we're not sitting in a room together or whatever. <laughs> ideas happen whether you're. You know, I'm getting groceries with the fam. Whatever you're doing, you right. know, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Idea come up, be like, hold on, hold on. you know, just bust out the phone real quick, and something happens. You send it to these guys, and the cool thing is that all of us contribute to the writing. So there's five different uh, perspectives on one idea. I saw you guys went down to Ohio at the incarceration free party. Yeah. Uh, fairly new festival, second year on the books. What's it like? Um, we went to the actual grounds, which is not where the pre party was. The pre party oh, was at another yeah. venue, yeah. But uh, we went to the actual grounds because we were hoping to see the Shawshank Redemption prison, you know? Yeah. We wanted to get in there, but everything was locked down tight. Oh, really? So they were like, no, I mean, they're not letting anybody on or off the grounds because it's the day before. Right. You know, and you know, everybody's uh, working on, you know, setting up and right. making sure everything's prepared. But I mean, the facility looks great. It's very spacious, you know, and it was right up against the uh, prison or uh -huh. the abandoned prison now. <laughs> And it, the festival looked like it was a good time, man. We've got a couple friends that played out there, and it was it looks like it was just a great time out there. Good. We had a great time at the party, too, the pre-party. It ended up being a pretty cool experience, and uh, hopefully we actually get on the actual festival sometime in the future. Yeah. 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 That, we were talking back and forth with them, and they said it, it was uh, three times of what the first year yeah, the ticket sales were up three, three times. So oh, absolutely, like, man. <laughs> there was a lot of big names on this one this yeah, year, man, yeah, so true. Yeah. it's... Yeah, and a lot of people kind of wait after, you know, first year festival, they're kind of yeah. weary. We've been to a couple of those first year festivals that never happened again. Let's yeah. see if everybody yeah. gets paid first. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, and it was, it was, this year's lineup had a lot of names and uh, yeah. it looked like it was an incredible time. We almost time. went, but we yep. decided not to go. Yeah, if we had a couple of days off, I might have stayed in there, you know, yeah. town. Right. What do you guys do after, like, Houston's your last day? Yeah. Um, is it just time off? Are you guys going to rest? Continue writing. Uh, what do you I guys mean, do in your downtime? I don't downtime? think there's ever actually full downtime. Right. You know, because when we go home, some of us got jobs that we keep, you know. And uh, some of us have, I've got family, Mark's got family, uh, John and Mike have family, that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, we're always busy doing, you know, home home life stuff or whatever, but nothing ever really stops. Again, iPhone riffs, whatever. You know, whenever uh, the feeling strikes, I mean, you got to get after it, you know. So we that's what we do, man. We, we try to keep as busy as possible. Possible, as much as possible, you know. Right. And uh, yeah, whenever we're home, like we're gonna be home for a minute on this one, so I, it's beneficial because we want to try to finish up the material for the album. Okay. That way, we're you know very prepared when we go yeah. in the studio, knock it out, and hey, right. let's get a timeline. Right. But uh, yeah, man, we're constantly busy. We're always trying to do something different, and uh, I mean different projects at different times. Mark just got off the Mark Morton tour. They were touring the Aesthetic yeah. album, and uh, it was great. Uh, Nick too. Nick was actually on that too. It was it was cool. Like, so everybody's got, you know, different things going on at That's once, awesome. but uh, we make it work. I bet y'all sleep in at night. I don't. <laughs> 
I don't. <laughs> no, man, I have trouble sleeping at night, but that's another story. Oh, um, the uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. We've played to halls that are you know two people, the bartender, yeah. and maybe one person. We have played uh, twenty thousand people in Japan, oh, wow. and so either the it varies. You know, we've, we've done different number of attendance and that kind of thing. And no matter what, we give it one hundred and ten percent every show. Because I mean, somebody's giving up their hard-earned money to come and support, and that's enough, you know, yeah. awesome. to keep us afloat. Awesome. So you've done a lot of festivals and you've done a lot of bars. What do you prefer? I like them both, man. You know, the the festival circuit's cool because, I mean, obviously you're doing uh, big numbers at once. You know, you're knocking out like a month's worth of club gigs and, right. you know, just a few, you know, something like that. But uh, it can be hectic. You know, uh, you got to get there like early, uh, check in merch. You got to make sure you get your credentials. You have to get your itineraries, line up press, you know, this and that. So it's an all day thing. So you're essentially doing more than just the amount of time you're on stage. Whereas when we do the, the club or the venue circuit, we show up. I mean, depending on the on the you know the situation, like we just did a two or three week run where we're headlining, and we showed up early. You know, we knocked out sound check, we backline, we did whatever we have to do, and then we just pretty much fuck off. Of this. Cool. Can I curse? Yeah. Okay. yeah I was absolutely. like, man, <laughs> oh, yeah. let one slide. No. But, uh, <laughs> no uh, the cool thing about the club circuit is, I mean, Mark mentions it time after time on stage every night. Saying, you know, we we try to show as much gratitude as possible for the people that come out and support us because genuinely, without any of y'all, none of this means a damn thing. So that's what's cool about the club circuit. We get to get down, you know, hey, what's up? We're always at merch, man, whether it's, you know, festival or not. You know, we hang out, we like to be out in the crowd. We're very much fans of music still. So we'll, like, we're going to watch Flaw tonight because Flaw's, we've, we've dug Flaw for a minute, you know, so it's, it's a fun run. It's going to be awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah. I just want, how did this particular tour package come together? Because it's, I mean, there's a lot of difference between yeah. I actually kind of like it when there's a difference in music because it gives you a nice, like a, a plate, you know, with yeah. a bunch of little different yeah. uh, things you can try, different entrees. You don't like this, you like that. You know, somebody yeah. else. Totally and then agree. we, we cross, yeah. uh, what is it, um, your uh, your markets. You cross yes. markets. You get what I mean? Yep. And, uh, but this package, um, we got a call from our agent and said, hey, do you want to tour with Flaw? And we're like, when? Let's do it. You know, like it's, yeah, it was just, it's a good time. And we've done a show or two with uh, September morning before. Yeah. Good good folks, you know what I mean? No, yeah, it's, they it's, bring in their own fans that are yeah. going to cross over and go, exactly. okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it's cool. Like, you know, everybody works toward the same thing. Yeah, of course. And it helps when there's such diversity on a package yep. like this. Yeah, because the same thing in reverse. Yeah. People that are coming to see you Absolutely. might say, man, that's September morning kind of kick. Yeah, 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 they're great. Yeah. The visual looks cool. Yes, they I got agree. a bunch of cool I've shit on stage. It's awesome. Too. <laughs> yeah, from my perspective, it's fun. And, and that seems to be the trend. I mean, look at Rock Oklahoma this year. I mean, they had country bands. Yeah, it's like oh, it's rap. And yeah. Yeah. Lots, of, lots of different things to pull in more people. And I, I hope it's working. And yeah. From the numbers, it looked like it was working. So, and that's what they they've said about uh, like over in the UK and stuff, that's what they do, and they, I mean, it, it's just a big package of a whole bunch of music, you know, and there's something for everybody. It's exactly, yeah. Thing. And I mean, the attendance are, are, is the proof of the pudding, you know what I mean? Yeah. They show up over there, they love that stuff. Yes. The, the festival circuits, you know, on foreign soil are everything. Mm-hmm. I've been wanting to do downloads since I was a kid, oh, and Mark gosh. was able to cross over the pond <laughs> and do it with Morton, because uh, okay. they did, uh, Lamb of God was playing, yeah. yep. but uh, Morton also did a a, you know, acoustic setup for his, okay. you know, to promote his yeah. record. And Mark went out there and was one of the featured, you know, uh, okay. performers or whatever. And he was able to show up before we did. And I'm like, man, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's cool, man. It's badass that he, yeah. he was able to experience that. And just watching it, I mean, it's something I look forward to, you know? Right. right. What was that like for you the first time when you guys got that first phone call saying, hey, we want you over, we want you to do a tour overseas? Man, I was fired up like, and nervous at the same time. Cause, yeah. My thing is, I never really flew. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Whenever we did Europe, I think it was like, I mean, connecting flights, but all together, it was something like 13 hours, you know, which was, yeah, and I was like, man, this is probably the worst thing I'm ever going to have to deal with. And they were like, hey, they want you in Japan. So we went to Japan at 16 hours. I'm like, man. 
<laughs> no, but uh, aside from that, it was just an overwhelming feeling yeah. of, you know, excitement. And, you know, we're, we're really fortunate to be able to have already crossed seas, right, yes. go over there, tap into that market. And the people that took us out, I mean, the first time it was soil, the second time it was seether, and both times it was phenomenal experiences. Uh, aside from the, the time change, you know, yeah, 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 it's crazy, man. Europe in the winter is a little bit crazy because uh, it, the days seem shorter, but the nights are longer. You know, it, it's almost like there's less sunlight, you know, during that time over there. So it kind of fucks with your mind a little bit. But I mean, especially if you're used to the sun being around your back when you live in Texas, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's very true. Yeah, but other than that, it's great, man. The food's phenomenal. People are great. Uh, very cut and dry people. There's no time for bullshit. They'll tell you straight, you yeah. know, if you're being an asshole, they'll tell you you're being an asshole. If you fucked up on stage, they're going to be like, hey, you fucked up. <laughs> you know, they'll give it to you straight, man. And I kind of appreciate that because it kind of gives you, you know, a little bit of, uh, how do you say it, feedback that you might not otherwise get. You know? And yeah. it's good. I mean, they it keeps you on your toes. Music and they take it serious. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's they great don't people. Get it a lot of yeah, it's phenomenal. Much. So yeah, they're gonna. I can imagine they're gonna let you know. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. is. That, that's first time I've heard that. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I know how how uh, devoted they are, and once once you're in, you're. Yeah, yeah. man. And again, like I said, we we're fortunate to be able to cross over when we did, and uh, yeah, we've we've gotten you know several people that follow us on the socials. Hey, come back when are you doing this? When are we doing that? And it's like as soon as we get a phone call, man, we'll yep. do it. Yep. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> we ain't hold, I'm not holding us back, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> you just say the word. We'll yeah, go. yeah, for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jess. It's my pleasure, Can't man. Wait to see this show tonight. Absolutely. Um, it's gonna be a good time. We're going to be out here hanging out, slamming shots, beers, whatever. Good stuff. Come hang out with us, man. All right. No problem. We will. Thank you, sir. Cheers.